We're all copying somebody. I remember back when I was just a young lad. Yeah, I was more fun than a barrel of monkeys or a basket of puppies. Hanging out in the evening at the Texaco station, enjoying salted peanuts in a bottle of Dr. Pepper. And it was then and there that I bought this 55 Chevy for 56 of them paper things, you know. They used to be backed by gold and silver and such, but they're no more. It burned more oil than gasoline, had a hole in the muffler, you could hear me coming. You could never see me leave or know I was gone because it was a big cloud of smoke, black, blue smoke. The radiator leaked more water than a fire that I could put out. Had wing windows but no AC. Tires were pretty bald, almost as bald as four American Eagles starving for oxygen. Big bench seats like living room or parlor sofas and a huge steering wheel with a big chrome ring and a horn that went Aruga, Aruga, Aruga. Headlights, they only work when you press that button on the floor there or to get the high beams on. Had an AM radio, played real loud. Put one foot up on the dashboard, libation in my left hand, a smoke in the other. Steering with my knees. My other foot on the pedal to the metal. Going through the moonlit Midwest night at a hundred mile an hour. Those were the days when I was a young lad, nothing but a puppy. Nothing but a young cat. Nothing but a guy that was laughing and giggling and didn't take life serious because he couldn't give a hoot about the news or none of that. All he cared about was, well, you know, big chrome steering wheels and gangster white wall tires, tachometers, and four on the floor and AM radio blasting like a Scirocco through the night libation in one hand and a smoke in the other and the pedal to the metal a hundred mile an hour <laughs> <laughs>